What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Donkinropa 2. Last time we are having a party for Fuyuhika's recovery when... Monomi came in and said that Akane was trying to duel Monokuma, so we, now we need to leave and go find Akane at the beach. Thanks, everyone. That's not it. I know Akane's in deep trouble, but you guys suck. Screw this half-baked comfort. If this were a song title, it'd be Salt Seeping Into My Broken Heart. I don't really get it, but you look pretty bummed out. You shouldn't make a fuss here. Let's hurry over to the beach already. Great, now I'm the last guy. Uh, so the exit. Yep, here we go. No! There's no time to spare her over to the BS. Ah, uh, hold on. Alright, let's try this again. Exit. Oh, there is no- I thought it said Central Island. It didn't. My mind just saw what it wanted to see. Okay, so gotta go left, past the hospital. That'll take me to the Central Island. And, okay, got it. Oh. Oh, wait, no! It's not the Central- we gotta go back to the first island. Ah! Alright, we're almost there, though. Oh, my character's so bony. Number two. Number one. Oh my god. No! Go back, idiot! Hey, Chiaki, what are you doing? You gotta get to the beach. Hold Calm down. Well? It's true we need to hurry, but there's no way you can make good decisions if you're so worked up. But if we don't hurry, Akane is. Hey. It's for the sake of saving Akane, too. We don't know what's beyond this point. That's why we need to stay calm, I think. Got it, I'm okay now. Yep. Then let's go, okay? After running there at full sprint by the time I got to the beach and struggled to regain my breath, I saw a shocking scene unfold before me. Akane, looks like you're just barely avoiding any fatal injuries. Yep, at least your agility is worthy of praise. But did you only challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? T damn it! Why can't I even graze you with my attacks? Well, you know, we're on completely different levels. That means we view the world differently. It's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super-powered battle manga. <laughs> it's obvious you can't win. Hey, hey. Is she really serious about not even grazing it? Akane is just fighting a stuffed animal. Monokuma is an advanced machine. If it's designed for combat, it's probably capable of exerting such power. However, as far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than any athlete I've ever seen. And she says she can't even graze him with her attacks. Is that even possible? Because it's possible, that's why she's in this situation, right? How unfortunate. As long as she's ended up like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least, we should overcome the despair of Akane's death and use it as fuel to bolster our hope. Right? Like Fuyuhiko did, you see? Don't fuck with me! Damn it! I never want to feel that feeling ever again. If I have to feel that way again, I'll make sure I stop it, even if it costs my life. Ah. You can't! You'll really die if you keep overexerting yourself. <sighs> it's just a little life Peko gave me. It's not precious anyway. <laughs> you stupid! That's all the more reason you should. Don't stop me! You guys stay back. I'll take care of it from here. This is Neko Maru Nidai's final firework. Make sure you sear it into your eyes. Now then, it looks like everyone's here, so I might as well finish this. Didn't I say I won't allow any rule violations against me? This is what happens when you break the rules. Disappear.
Nakamaro's dead, yo. The world shook and turned stark white, as if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by the impact. It was all completely white. And within that white, I heard a voice. Uh, uh, Nekomaru! Nekomaru! Why did you... save... <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Supporting their athletes is a manager's duty. However, what a shame for someone like Nekomaru Nidai to... It was just a little shot from a bazooka. I really am the worst. <laughs> get, get a hold of yourself, Nekomaru! Oh, this is such a lame death. Akane, the time I've spent with you, it, it wasn't so bad. Don't die, Akane. <laughs> Looks like it didn't even break his skin. Are you kidding me? That's... Holy crap! Instead of the rule violator. What the hell? What a major failure. I ended up killing Nekumaru, who had nothing to do with this. Hey! Hold on. It's faint, but his heart's still beating. He's not dead yet. <laughs> then you gotta hurry and treat him! You. Hey, Monokuma, you can do something about this, right? Save Nekumaru like you saved me. Hey, hey. That's right. If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, that makes you the one who violated the rules. Well? Then let's just say we're even. <laughs> In exchange for forgiving Akane for breaking the rules, let's just say Nekumaru was the sacrifice. Yeah so isn't it okay to say we're even? Hey. You're not going to save him? Guess I have no choice. It's annoying, but it'd be boring if he died a meaningless death. So... For today only, I'll activate my special trump card. And that's when it happened. A siren started ringing out of nowhere. And it gradually came closer and closer. Ooh, uh, this this again. again? Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood. He even recycled the same line again. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat. So, I'll see you later. And after he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Nekomaru vanished. What the hell? Why'd this happen? What's going on? That's such an annoying question that everyone keeps saying. Why did this happen? This isn't happening, right? He's gonna be alright, right? Necromal's gonna be saved, right? He's obviously gonna be saved. But Fuyuhiko finally returned to us. I can't believe Necromal's gone now. No! I can't stand this anymore. Hey! Can you stop yelling? Screaming won't help, you know. Cuz, cuz... I'll go! This isn't cuz, this is what happens when we let our guard down. All this talk about everyone getting along, we were just fooling ourselves. We were just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will just be killed one after another. It won't be a mystery when you're eventually betrayed. That's why I'm never going to rely on anyone. That's the reality here. Uh, Are you saying it's meaningless for us to even work together? Shut up! If it really did have meaning, Nekomaru wouldn't have ended up like that. Uh, he ended up like that because of his weird feelings of friendship. You understand too, right? When the stupid ones try to act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. Hey! So can you please not involve me? I don't want to die in a meaningless death. That is... Hiyoko, blaming Akane will not help solve anything. Huh. We don't have to worry about Coach Nakamaru. Huh? Huh. That's disappointing. It's all your fault and you're not even worried about him. Oh. You're not worried about Nakamaru? Damn it! There's no need to worry about worrying. I know Coach Nekomaru is a monstrous guy. There's no way he's gonna die from something like that. There's no doubt. Nekomaru is definitely gonna come back. Damn it. So, when that happens, I'll make sure I apologize. 
because I was too weak and I caused him trouble. So when he comes back, I'll make sure to say I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. As we all returned to our cottages, we were silent. Even if we opened our mouths, only words of worry would come out. We all knew that. When we saw Nekumaru's tragedy happen right in front of us, once again we were all taught. If you think you won't die, well, that's just wishful thinking. On this island, without any warning, people die. That is the nightmare we're trapped in. When you think you've finally woken up from the nightmare, you realize you're still inside it. And thus, the nightmare continues. Super! A Tengu came down from the mountains. A long time ago, there was a village that was afraid of Tengus showing up. The Tengus apparently did as they pleased, such as stealing food and kidnapping women. But is it really the Tengus' fault? Isn't it actually the humans' fault for ruining nature by destroying the mountains where the Tengus lived? You think monsters are scary, it's humans that are the scary ones. Everyone, now is the time to rise up against the humans. We must protect nature from the humans and return the world to a peaceful place where monsters roam free. Bring it on! Monokuma Super Fables, the end! Tired of hearing that. As usual, well, even if I say that, it doesn't matter anymore. But I greeted the morning without having slept at all. I really wanted to see somebody, anybody, as fast as I could. I felt like I had to share this ancient, anxious feeling with someone. I just couldn't deal with it alone. I should go to the restaurant for now. While I'm at it, I better go check on the poop. And go this way. Yo, it's you, Hajime. Huh. Even in such an ab abnormal situation, people still get hungry. Damn it, Nekumaro! What that bastard mean by his final firework? That line's more suited to a yakuza, anyway. Nekumaro wants to want to protect Akane at all costs, just like how Pekka wanted to protect you. Why, you don't say another word. Just go on ahead to the restaurant. I'll come later. All right, calm down. Hey. Good morning, Hajime. See? Being depressed won't help. Let's believe in Nekomaru. Come on, feel better. Let's go, 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 go. As I was walking to the restaurant, I suddenly stopped. <laughs> I heard the sound of a girl crying inside the restaurant. Obviously, it's Akane. No, it's Akane! I peeked inside and quietly walked into the restaurant. <laughs> You're the one who's crying? I'm scared. What's gonna happen to us? Could she be in shock about what happened to Nekomaru? But yesterday she was acting braver. What happened to Kane? It's not like you to cry. Get a grip on yourself. I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, Nekomaru got killed, you know. What are you saying? It's not like Nekumaru's dead yet. I don't want this anymore. Let me go back home. She must be so shocked that Nekumaru sacrificed himself. There's no way that explains a change this sudden and drastic. Hmm. What happened to Akane? Isn't she acting kind of weird? I see. Hajime, be careful. That's probably not the real Fuyuhiko. The real Fuyuhiko is already dead. That's why that's probably Fuyuhiko's clone. What are you saying? Hey. Also, I heard from Monokuma that Nekumaro couldn't be saved. It's unfortunate, but a transfer student is apparently going to come as a replacement. <laughs> so let's all give that person a warm welcome. Are you messing around? It's the truth. I always speak the truth. Right? 
In order to prove it, I'll explain it specially to you. Listen carefully. I finally discovered who the traitor is. <laughs> the true identity of World Ender. The traitor who is hiding among us is. There's no mistake. Byakia. That's right. Byakia is alive. He's been weird from the start, but isn't he acting much weirder than usual? Everyone is. How suspicious. Hey! It's definitely best if we keep Nagito tied up. Not just tied up. No. I won't be satisfied till I peel the skin off his face and expose the meat so we can identify him anymore. That doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? <laughs> he lied to me about, about Mahiru being alive and said he saw her at the movie theater. Why is he telling such a pointless lie? <laughs> I hate being lied to. Jeez. I won't feel satisfied until all his joints are bent at a awkward angles. It'd probably be a waste of time to find out the reason for each little thing Nagito does, but I don't get this at all. Why did he have to tell such an outrageous lie? Yes. Pardon me, everyone, but do you happen to have some time to spare? Hello. It may my be rude of me, but Miyota. I'd like to say my greetings first thing in the morning. I look forward to working with you all today. I am Ibuki. Aren't you acting strange, too? Wait. Be careful, Ibuki. Hajime's dangerous. He wants to kill you and eat you. What are you saying? Yes. Mr. Hajime, I am not tasty. Please do not eat me. He's obviously lying. So it was a lie. It's the truth. I never tell lies. Understood. So it is not a lie. It may be necessary for me to beg for my life after all. They're all acting strange. What's going on? Did they go crazy or something? It wouldn't be strange to go crazy in a situation like this. You've got it wrong! That's not it. Yes. Ibuki, she has an extremely high fever. That's probably the cause. That's weird. Before you start taking, okay, taking, I want you to tell me something. Who the hell are you? Why? Why have you forgotten me? I'm Mikan. <laughs> Please try touching her forehead. If you do, you'll see what I mean. In exchange, please spare my life. I softly place my hand onto Ibuki's forehead. She's hot! The heat is abnormal. Yes. She has a terribly high fever. Then could the others? Akane, let me feel your forehead too. <laughs> I placed my hand onto Akane's forehead while she groaned and kept sobbing. That must be it. She has such a high fever, there's no way that's a normal human body temperature. Nagito, you too? <laughs> I don't have a fever. I feel extremely great today. I placed my fan on his forehead. Once again, I got the same result. What? All three of them have fevers. Then the reason those guys are saying such wacky stuff is... Emergency! Emergency! That's obviously bad. For him to appear right now, does that mean this is... Just a minute. Whoa there! Can you wait just a second for the explanation? The others are on their way too. And just as Monokuma said, I heard the sound of pounding footsteps. Everyone who gathered all had confused expressions plastered onto their faces. What's going on? Now what? Hey, hey. I heard it from Monokuma. Looks like something strange is going on again. Did something happen? Now then. Looks like everyone's here. Now then, let's start with the explanation. Wait! You're pulling a prank again, aren't you? And what happened to Nekomaru? Hurry up and return him first, you robber bear. Hmm? Are you talking about the boy who turns into a woman when he gets splashed with water? You stupid who the heck is that? Nekomaru doesn't have a weird ability like that. Jeez, shut up! I don't even know what's been done to me, but I feel a mysterious life energy. Well now. Now that I shut up the nuisance, let's go back to the topic at hand. I'm pretty sure you guys have already noticed since you're all so quick-witted. So it's just as I thought. The true identity of this high fever is... This is the new motive that I've given you. It's the despair disease. What the... Actually... You know, there are extremely tiny insects that can't be seen with the naked eye living on this island. It's not like I added them recently. I just never told you about them. Anyway, the endemic disease spread by these insects is called the despair disease. <laughs> I've never heard of such a thing. Well? Then let me tell you about it. As the name suggests, the despair disease is... 
a really annoying disease where you get a high fever along with various symptoms that are full of despair. Those symptoms are different based on the person. For instance, Nagito is afflicted by the liar disease. Akane has the coward disease. Ibuki has the gullible disease, I guess. What? They just had to get symptoms that are the opposite of their normal personalities except for Nagito. Hey, um... It's not like all you guys are down with a sickness yet. But be careful! Sometimes the despair disease can get passed from person to person. Huh? You mean it's contagious? <laughs> don't put your guard down just because you don't have the disease. It'd be awful if everyone got sick. Hey, 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 hey. Let's run, Miss Sonya! It'd be terrible if you caught the lowly disease of the common folks. <gasps> That's right! Let's run away! I don't want to catch such a weird disease. Why? And why is that a motive? Are you saying that a killing will occur soon? After everyone falls into a crazy state. Isn't this quite a novel idea? I can't wait! I can't wait! A killing that occurs while everyone has a completely different personality! Think of all the murder tricks! Is there any way to treat it? Like... Is there a need to treat it? I mean, this despair disease isn't supposed to make you suffer. <laughs> it's a disease that cures your soft hearts! Your soft hearts toward killing! And with this, you can finally take the plunge and commit murder. You... you better stop talking about this bullshit! As an apology, I'm gonna commit murder! Are there any charcoal briquets somewhere? Um, I'm pretty sure I found some at the supermarket. Stop it, Akane Nagito Wabuki! You guys stay put! Hey. You're wrong, I'm not Nagito! To tell you the truth, Nagito's a fake name. I'm sorry I've kept it a secret till now. Understood. I see. What the? She's believing him again! Amazing! Whatever, I feel so great today. This despair disease is awesome! You all should get it too! We're all done for. There's no such thing as hope. We'll have to die from this despair disease. Whoa. He collapsed! <laughs> now that I've given you a new motive, how will things develop? Will the killing start after everyone gets the despair disease or even before that? Chills, chills, I'm so chills. excited about it! I'm just gonna stand around naked! Bring it on! I'm always naked! Nekumaro's incident just happened, and now this? Where did that peaceful mood that lasted till yesterday go? <laughs> this is bad. Nagito's foaming at the mouth. Oh. She's right. I've never even seen foam that color before. Impossible. It's an ephemerally rare color, normally only found in the depths of the Netherworld Sea. In this case, the color doesn't matter. Let's hurry him over to the hospital. I'll help out. Please wait. What should we do about Akane and Ibuki? Anyway. We're definitely going to bring them too. We don't know what they'll do if we leave them alone. Hey, bastards! Can you walk? Yes. Allow me to confirm. I just have to alternate the movements of my legs left and right. <laughs> I'll walk, so don't leave me! With the diseased in tow and Nagito, whose condition was clearly worsening, we rushed over to the hospital. But this kind of motive is impossible. An actual despair disease. And there's a possibility that it might be passed along. What the heck? What should I do? <laughs> I'll go make the infected change their clothes, and then I'll have them sleep in the patient rooms. Understood. So I just have to change my clothes, correct? <laughs> I'm scared of changing. For now. Everyone else, please wait here. As she supported all three of them with her shoulders, Mikan disappeared into the depths of the hospital. Damn it! I never expected us to get sick. What's gonna happen? Let me tell you. I this. would not mind if Nagito retired permanently. Maybe. Is Mikan gonna personally change their clothes? What's wrong with that? Well. Does that include Nagito too? Isn't that a little bad? <laughs> There's no need to panic. Even I attend to the needs of my four Dark Davas of Destruction. Hey, hey, hey! Don't lump hamsters and teenage boys together. Um... Is this stupid conversation gonna last much longer? Hey! Shouldn't we be seriously thinking about what we need to do from now on and stuff? Hmm... Um... I'm worried about those three, but is there a chance that Beacon will catch it while she's tending to them? We should consider that too. 
And if she's always timid and nervous, that would make her very assertive. Excessively assertive. Aggressive, most likely. This too must be This the disease, it resembles an illness the Demon King once unleashed long ago to wipe out a large country. <laughs> There's no reason it would work against me, the Supreme Overlord of Ice. Um, who else would it be interesting on? It'd be interesting on her? It'd be definitely interesting on anyone with an extreme personality. So Hyoko as an example, because then she'd be also nice. Maybe. By any chance, is Mikan gonna attend to all of Nagito's needs? Damn it! This is a dilemma. I don't want to get sick, but I'm jealous of that disease. Now's not the time to say stuff like that. Looks like things are getting pretty strange. Even so. But now's the time for us to do our best. We need to stand firm until Nekomaru comes back. Don't overwork yourself too much, though. Your wound hasn't fully healed yet. Huh. I can't slack off now. Jeez. That disease sure looks dangerous. Nagito, Akane, and Ibuki aren't acting normal. If it spreads to anyone else, a killing is bound to happen. Let me tell you. Based on their observed behavior, I cannot deny that. But those guys aren't being considerate. I want them to at least have the decency to consider committing suicide before they start bothering us. That is... Hey, Hiyoko. <laughs> I know, it can't be that easy. So it's important to make sure we don't end up catching the disease. What do you mean? Which cockroach said that? Why don't you get it? We need to isolate them from us so they won't spread the disease. You. If you can't cure it, the only option is to stop it from spreading. Even a preschooler knows that. Isn't isolating them a bit too harsh? If everyone catches the despair disease, we won't be able to do anything about it anymore, you know? This is bad. You're right. There's no way we should allow it to spread. Hey, hey. Isolation. You mean we need to quarantine them inside the hospital, right? Chiaki, don't tell me you also agree with this. That's wrong. It's to prevent a killing. As long as that disease is Motokuma's motive, we just ignore it. If we just ignore it, a killing will happen again. To prevent that, we also have to prevent the disease from spreading. That's why we need to quarantine them. Like... Even if we quarantine them, who's going to take care of them? <laughs> Mikan's going to stay here anyway. She's been touching the infected all over, so it's possible she's already caught the disease. But there's no way we can leave her by herself. Hey! Then why don't you stay too? Huh? Now that I think about it, you touched them when you took their temperature, right? So I'll leave the rest to you. Contact me if something happens. How are we supposed to do that? Jeez! We need to think of a way to communicate. If we keep meeting in person, we could catch the disease. Hey, you! So I'll let you handle that, Kazuichi. Uh, Got it. Fine. Fret not. We're not going to abandon you. I shall station myself nearby in case anything happens. There's a motel on this island. Until this matter is resolved, we shall stay the night there. Do we really have to stay at such a dirty place? Silence. What are we supposed to do if we can't immediately get here if something happens? Also, if that disease is airborne, the hotel on the first island might already be unsafe. This is the Tanaka We must Empire. be vigilant about protection. I have those who I must protect. You. They're just hamsters, dude. I'll destroy you! That is an unkind thing to say, you fiend! How dare you call my four dark davis of destruction hamsters? Jeez! Fine, I'll just stay at the motel, okay? How annoying. <laughs> Even if it's a quarantine, we're still going to be on the same island, so just call us, call us if something happens. Blech. Huh? What are you frustrated for? I don't like this. This is obviously a trap. Monokuma's goal is to separate us as a group. Is it really okay for us to fall for that? So... It's not like we've stopped being friends. I just don't want a killing to happen ever again. We can't prevent that if everyone gets sick, you know. You know, right? That's right, man. There's no way we're going to lose together here. That's right. Because if that happens, then Monokuma gets what he wants. Hey, Hiyoko. What did you say to me earlier? Something about me being the first one to get cut off? And? What's wrong with that? Huh. This must be that moment. It's not like Mikan and Hajime are enough people. You. Are you saying you're going to stay here too? Huh. This life of mine is a spare anyway. Fine then, do whatever you want. Hey Fuyuhiko, are you sure? You might be endangering yourself, you know. Jeez. Don't make me repeat myself. Hey, hey. You're really, really okay with this? Then I'm gonna leave the rest to you too. <laughs> Whatever's happening over there, just leave it to us. 
will make sure you keep the disease from spreading. Shouldn't you guys head over to the motel before you catch the disease? I am sorry. I'm sorry we're forcing this upon you like this. What everyone's saying is true, so it's okay. Thanks. Thank you, both of you. I won't let your feelings go to waste. We'll make sure to find out the mystery of the despair disease while you're all here. I think. Probably. I'd really prefer if she had a more confident-sounding catchphrase. Um... Now then, I shall excuse myself. I'm counting on you. <laughs> then I'll make sure to figure some way to communicate later. Bye! Do your best and try to stay alive! And just like that, the others left, leaving me and Fuyuhiko at the hospital. I never expected it to turn out like this. Jeez. It's not like it's their fault. It's that bastard Monokuma's fault. I can't believe he'd actually arrange something as irritating as a disease. Uh, hello. Thanks for waiting. <laughs> they finally finished changing. Everyone's resting in their rooms. Uh, Why is it just you two? Huh? You know... Uh, they must have left to get fruits to bring back later. Everyone is so kind. I'm so glad everyone's so thoughtful toward their friends. Well, well, like I said. <laughs> we're all equals when we're sick. Let's all work together and do our very best. Hajime, I'm sorry, but I'll let you handle the explanation. That's quite the burden I have to bear. And so we decide to split into two groups. In the hospital, there are three people who caught Motokuma's despair disease. There's also Mikan who's nursing them back to health. And as a safeguard, Fuyuhiko and myself. All together, six people are staying at the hospital. Chiaki, Gundam, Kazuichi, Sonya, Hiyoko are staying at the motel on the same island. As for Nekumaru, he's not back yet, but... Anyway, until we do something about this despair disease, our current situation isn't gonna change. But we have no clue what we need to do. In 30 minutes, so I'm gonna end this video here and we'll pick up where we left off next time. Stay tuned! And thanks for watching. Bye bye!